Rosie O'Donnell stars in American Gigolo. New episodes available Fridays on Showtime. Brian's book is called Seriously Good Chili. Don't forget it's out now. And behind the bar, Steven Brindberg stars as Simply Barbara. Let's see him at Oscars in Palm Springs, September 22nd and 23rd, and Chelsea Table and Stage in New York City on the 21st of November. So has Barbara ever seen your act? Well, I think she saw me on video. Okay. You know, so she could approve me before I sang for her friend. At Donna's, yes. Yeah. That's and, amazing. And um, it's, it's been exciting traveling Was, everywhere. I've I have, played more places than she has. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I have to zeros. assume that uh, the Barbara episode of the Rosie O'Donnell show was your favorite of all of them. And I can't even watch the, a little of it because I start to cry right away. Really? Yeah, my sister and brothers are in the audience, yeah. and I just watch it, and I go, I can't believe this right. even happened to me. Was she on that show everything you wanted her to be? Because sometimes they say, don't meet your idol or whatever. You know, I mean, people have said that to me my whole life, and before I met Barbara, she actually wrote me a handwritten note and said, are you sure you want to do this? Because I don't want to let you down. And I'm like, there's no way in the world that you could let me down. And, and had she have been a horrible, horrible, mean person, I think I still would love her, but she wasn't. She right. was the opposite. She was so kind to me and so mothering in a way and really um, made a profound effect upon my life, having mm. her in it. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's go back to our virtual fans. Chris from Rhode Island, our smallest state, has a question for Rosie. Hi, Chris. Hi, Andy, I can't wait for BravoCon. Rosie, when was the last time you spoke with Madonna, and what do you hope to see in the biopic she's directing with Julia Garner? Yeah, I think it's going to be wonderful. She's an amazing director, and I don't know if you saw her other movie, We, that she did, um, W.E., about Queen, the royal family and yep. whatnot. She's a wonderfully talented director, and I can't wait. And the last time I talked to her was on her birthday just a few uh, weeks ago, August 16th. She turned 64, I think, because I'm 60, and... Wow. Yeah, it's, it's hard to believe that we met 30 years ago. That's amazing. And when I called her up, I said, happy birthday and happy anniversary. It was 30 years ago that we met. Right. Wow. wow. Right. That's incredible. Let's go to Jamie from Orlando with a question for Brian. Hi, Andy. Hi, everybody. Hi. Brian, what was your favorite thing about working with the late, great Betty White when you appeared on Hot in Cleveland? Oh, Here's my gosh. I mean, I... She, her at 90 something out there, live studio audience, having to remember, deliver, be physical. Uh, her comedy timing truly still then is better than anyone's that I can mention. So I had, it was truly one of the pleasures of my life that I got to work with her mm. a few times. And, uh, and yeah, she will, I mean, she's an American icon. She'll yes. be missed forever. Mm. There's a Betty White auction happening oh, really? that I got the catalog for today. Three huge books. I feel like I know Betty White, so I looked through all of her personal her, blogs. Like, wow. Memorabilia Literally, that she has? Or? Everything she owns. When? All of her when? furniture. Soon? It's in September. Julian's. Like, wow. It's like three huge catalogs of it. Anyway. I digress. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go for that. I'm gonna look I, that up. Uh, I want to thank Rosie and Brian and Stephen for being here. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here, and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.